Blues Fans TV and I am here with Lee Judges, my good mate here, and my wonderful friend Claude. They're a bit upset. He knows, and me and Lee, had a, we had a bet before the game, didn't we, that whoever loses the game has to buy the pints in the, in the, in the yeah. pub after, and that is it. Babe, listen, I'm going to be honest, start with you, Lee, and then we'll go to Claude. Chelsea didn't play good football today, but the difference is, is that we got the win, and, and, and the win made me feel like it was a fantastic game, which is rare for us, because I, I don't normally feel like that after some poor football. Well, it's always nice to, to, to win a game when you score two goals in the last ten minutes. Yeah. You know, like, um, I thought Arsenal played really well first half, but I have to say that Lampard changed it around with a couple of substitutions, but for me, it all, it all turned on a, on, a, on a corrupt refereeing decision today, I'm afraid, you know. But, but, but is that, though, because, no, 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 because... Nah. There's been there's been times no 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 there's nah, been times nah. Tottenham had a play song? no 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 Tottenham had a player sent off against us and yeah. and they played better when he was sent off so I don't think you can you can put it down to that do you not think it's actually just very Arsenal esque no no because he actually didn't get sent off you know what I mean which he should have done and we'd have got ten, down to ten men and we would have won that game from there on but I don't think that's true don't you think that well we no, never we think... never know because well we are we know yeah that because at the end in my opinion no, it was a bit it was a turning point because obviously then he goes and scores the, the equaliser which was Leno's fault by the way but I felt that if the referee was doing his job properly he should have sent him Whose off fault was the second goal. I just think, like we, you know, we, we got caught again um, going too full, too too many gut players getting forward. Chelsea breaks on us quickly, you know. And uh, li listen, Chelsea got some very very good young players coming through. You have to say that, like you know. Even on Lamptey, which is he's like 19. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, Adoya when he come on, he was uh, he was the good. difference. He was the difference. He made he, he was a game changer for, as far as I'm concerned. Well, he was um he was brilliant last season until he got injured, and then he's he's trying to work his way back into the team, and I, and I think he's doing great. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's yes, I'm great. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. All right, Claude. Lee, um, Lee's got a good point about the red card. You know why sometimes. Sometimes they check for red cards, don't they? On VAR. What yeah, but was they, they, did, they did. But they did also check for the, the goal, see if it was disallowed, and, and they said it was an, it was well, onside. No, that was a joke. That shouldn't even have been checked. I mean, that was. Uh, I don't know where, they, where that was coming from. It was goal. Yeah, it's a perfectly good goal. <laughs> but I mean, as I say, Lee was put it right. I don't think, uh, although we uh, first half we controlled the game, I don't think we showed that much quality. We showed a lot of fight and endeavour, a lot of hard work. But uh, second half, we tired and and we gave you two goals. Come on, we gave you two goals away. And it was not. I don't know what Robbie was going on about there, saying that quality told. There's no quality for me. We gave you we gave you two gift goals. And um, is that bad? Is that down to poor defending or just the team breaking down? Up until the equaliser, I could not see you lot scoring. I didn't, we were awful. No, no, they were absolutely awful. Yeah, no, we were getting the hump as well. We were the rematched. Worst Chelsea team. I've, it, it reminded me. I tell you what. It was that, that poor. That Lord. I, it was that poor. It reminded me of that team they used to have in the 80s. Claude, Claude. That's how bad it was. Yeah. Naughty. Yeah, that's No, how bad Claude, no. We weren't good, I'll admit that. But, yeah. but no, no, no. But listen, if you're poor in a game, you don't get the win. If we're poor in the game, we actually bang out two goals. Yeah, but, yeah, as, as Lee said, you did have a bit of an assistance there. With... Blah, blah, blah. OK, <laughs> any positives to take from Arsenal's performance today? Uh, what positives? The positives is the hard work, and uh, it's a work in progress. So, if Arteta is now coming in, uh, I've, He's good. I've written the I've written the season off before to, before today. The season's written off for us, so it's up to Arteta now to put his ideas. He's given him now this, these, the rest of the season to put his ideas across, so we're ready for next season. Because this season, for me, is finished. It's no good. No more. We can't get Champions League. I think uh, we're, we're stuck really in the middle. We're not going to go down. We're, we're too good to go down. Obviously not now. Yeah, so... Um, even, but uh, this season is a write-off. Possible run in the Europa League, but I, don't, I think there'll be too much quality for us in that competition. FA Cup, possibly. You, know, you never know with the FA Cup. Who knows? Lee, what are you saying for the rest of Arsenal season then, well, after this? I honestly think the positive is the first half, because you have a look at Chelsea when they play Tottenham, they, they run all over Tottenham, absolutely run all over them in that first half. They didn't do that to us. In fact, they didn't do it to us in, in the whole game. So I look at that and that's a positive. For us, yeah, I agree with Claude, you know, the only way we're getting Champions League is through the Europa League, which is going to be thought, tough. I thought you were going to win it today. And, and like yeah, I said, it's, that's why it felt like a really good game for us, because we're not, we, we haven't seen that in a few years. And Frank sort of brought that back. It was one of those games, if... if once you equalise, I turned around and said, "Right, you're going to." It looked like Chelsea was always going to go and win it from there, you know. Yeah, I, from my point of view, it did. But uh, but I felt that you know we was in control up until that that decision 
you know, which which happened. I, I really do. Then we then they get the free kick, which was a free kick, and and Leno makes a, a mistake. But listen, going forward, Chelsea in a good position to get top four. I think you know with Spurs dropping points yesterday and winning and coming to the Emirates, you know, is a good result for Chelsea. You, you know, where, whatever wherever we are in the league. So from that point of view, you've got good positives for us. You know, as Claude says, we've got to rebuild. And, but there were a lot of positives today. I thought that was our best performance for a very, very long while. I thought you were right today. Yeah, to be I, thought fair. I thought your defending was, was actually good. That's the standard well, this is the standard we've come to today that really actually believes that was a, a best performance. That's the standard we've dropped to. Yeah. That is really that shows how poor we are at the moment. Well, we'll see, won't we? We'll see over the course of the Premier League. Anyway, guys, uh, let us know what you thought in the, about the game in the comments below and uh, subscribe if you like these videos.